All right, guys. Damn it, Black Warrior Lures. It's getting. It's it's it's. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, with the beginning of uh, what I call um, chum season now. And what you want to do to make you some chum? Is you want to get you some 50-pound bags of seed wheat. And in order to make it go faster, you know, you can take you about a. In fact, that's an insane amount of sugar. That's powdered sugar. I mean, it doesn't have to be powdered sugar. I'm just have that there just for a uh, that's just what I had on hand and so what we're gonna do is um, you know and that's about it so about a spoonful of yeast active dry yeast you could use a beer if you want you don't even have to use this if you want but it just goes faster so traditional yeast for all bread machines you could buy the packages as well it'd be just as good from time to time I do use the yeast in the kitchen so and then put you about a you know eighth of a teaspoon of sugar in there don't use honey because it'll kill off more microbes than you want and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run in the kitchen here I'm gonna put some water in this and let this sit for about 10 minutes and we'll go up and show you how we're gonna prep the uh, the barrel and stuff for the, uh, the, the thing so let's do that and be right back and so this is what maybe a half a half a cup of water maybe quarter cup of water doesn't take much it, you know you're going to be filling the thing full of water anyway in fact you could just don't even have to do this you could just add this straight to the barrel uh, just the powder and the sugar see in other words i'm saying you see some of these guys are putting five pound bags of sugar in their chum you don't need to do all that man we're not <laughs> you know these microbes you don't even have to put any sugar in it at all but it'll make it go faster They'll multiply faster if you give them a little bit something to eat and you know even just you know you know eighth of a teaspoon of sugar is a lot you know um, and so what you're going to do is just kind of stir that up and get it all sort of dissolved and whatnot and they'll start multiplying and multiplying and and uh, and we're going to add this to our wheat but first let's get to the barrel here's the barrel we're going to use it's got spider webs in it haven't used it all season for anything it's black barrel going to use the black barrel now because it'll keep sunlight out so what we'll do is just rinse this out we're going to keep it up here on the upper end of the property need to sweep out and clean this out some clean off that fence row but the reason i want to keep it up here because this stuff will start stinking after a while and i don't necessarily want it sitting by the house so you keep it up here and it'll be in the black thing, kind of in the shade, and it'll be doing fine. We got got the counties out here doing a bunch of work on the road and stuff, so they got tractors and everything. So pardon the noise, but uh, you know, it doesn't take a lot to get your chum going. Get you one of these plastic barrels. You can find these things on Craigslist. I bum this off my dear old mom. She has several of these. She uses them from water catchment for a garden. But she gave them to me because she saw I was doing chumming and stuff like that. And uh, I think I'd rather buy the black one so to keep the sunlight out, don't have to worry about it. So, uh, and so let's get us, let's go get us some water. Uh, but first, let's go talk about the, the wheat. The kind of wheat you need is seed wheat. I got, I bought, last wheat year I bought one. And I still have chum left from last year. And this is a 50 pound bag of seed wheat. It's called seed, no, I'm sorry, feed wheat. Ah, goodness, it's called feed wheat. See, it says, not for planting purposes, 10% protein, fiber, fat, 50 pound bag, should cost you less than $10, depending on the time of the year and your location and things like that. It's not for planting, it's for feed. It's an agricultural feed, and so, and since what we're doing is sort of agricultural thing, and it makes sense, right? Here's what it looks like. Now, if you plant this, it will sprout. Some of them will, but they're not meant for that purpose, you know. And so, uh, this is what the it looks like. And this stuff will swell up to the size of it'll probably double in size. Uh, so we're going to put both 50-pound bags in here. I probably may not even worry about. Uh, Renting that thing out. So what we'll do is 
If it's, too, it's 50 pounds, so if it's too heavy for you, get somebody to help you. Get one of these young bucks or somebody to help you. 50 pounds is just within what I can lift if I yeah, get down and lift it properly. It wasn't all that long ago. I couldn't lift anything that heavy, but... Be careful of all the dust and all that. I like chumming for channel catfish because I don't have a lot of time to be searching the rent from and running up and down the river. I'd rather just pick me four or five good spots, chum them up, and then just fish those four or five spots kind of all day long. And then and that way I can save time by drawing the fish in to where I'm fishing as opposed to me ripping and running up and down the river. All up. Now that was not a wise decision, so here we go. Just good old power lift, power lifter style. All right. All right. Now, what we're going to do is go, we don't have the, a hose that can fit, stretch way up here, so we're just going to have to do it the old fashioned way, toting buckets. And that's fine. But now, remember our wheat uh, stuff here. Remember how it was just sitting here? You know, you don't even have to have a, I mean, just a, a spoonful of this. If you just think of a spoonful of this and basically a spoonful of sugar, and that's about all you need, you know. And it doesn't have to be a heaping spoon. It can be level. All you want to do is just help the yeast sort of get a jump start, and you're just going to pour that in. Doesn't necessarily have to be all mixed up and even. Just pour it in, and it'll be fine. And trust me, they're multiplying as we speak. So, so now let's go get some water. Get some water we can dump in here. I got a lot of water to go to fill that up, boy. Got to come up with something else. Hose was gonna reach up here. Maybe we should have rolled it down there. In fact, that might what I do. Alright. Okay. Already kind of smells like beer. <laughs> so we moved it down here to the other end of the property. And, and you, you don't have to, you know, fill it up so that a few inches. Are covered a lot of you, you know a lot of people say two inches and I just kept putting water in until I know there's plenty because I don't want to necessarily have to come back every single day and top it off with water but that's about four or five inches of water there and it won't take long I mean once you put that water in there that yeast is already I can tell you right now that yeast is already just mixed up really well in here some of them will float like that. Don't worry about it. Once they start absorbing water, they'll eventually sink. But that lets you know something that even right now, if you were to take that and throw that out as chum, it will attract their attention. One of the reasons why I think chum works so well, at least in my area, is because of so many of the fish were raised in a uh, fish, uh, state-run uh, fish hatchery. And they just feed them you know, fish feed just on the surface of the water just like that. They just cast it out with a machine or whatever. And I think that when you fish for catfish in my area, that's what, you know, this just simulates the feed that they got, you know, at the factory. All right. And then when you, once you put your chum out, you just put your cheese bait out and there you go. And so I'm actually pretty late on this. I should already have a batch of this already done, but it won't take too long to, for this to go off like to uh, start to do it its thing so don't worry about that that's floating it'll sink and the main thing you want to do is excuse me is to come back and check it in a couple of days if it's if it's absorbed all the water add some more water on top of it and so it's pretty self um, sustaining I mean it just takes care of itself it'll eventually start uh, bubbling off probably give that a day or two and uh, because those the yeast replicated and, and and dissolving and fermenting everything and so um, this is 
this is the start this is where it starts and so uh, this is pretty fun I love doing chum chumming is fun it's easy get your wiffle ball bat put it out there draws the fish in and then you can catch fish uh, it's a great time saving method it's a good way to get eating size channel catfish and um, but anyway there you go cover this up we have a you can see we have a lid over there and it's hum here in my humble abode I'm gonna put the lid on and um, and let that be it so I'll probably give you some updates here probably go on and let the, do the next video and show you what my some of last year's chum has done in terms of making uh, a bait for uh, brim for me because you guys know I like fishing for brim as well so there you go if you want some more tips and tricks or some of my floats that I use go check out my either my eBay page or my website or sign up to figure out how you can uh, I'll send one out for you to, to try for yourself to see if it uh, be a good fit for you and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Here's our lid. Very simple. Comes from the old other uh, device there, and and that'll be it. To keep sort of keep the rain out, flies out, things like that. Uh, but there's a little gap here somewhere where the gas can gas off. You know, you want to leave it just cracked a little. So some of those gas will gas off, gas off. It'll start bubbling and all kinds of stuff before too long. But uh, just keep that in mind.